Okay, so we've caught up with Swain Tuff, the hard man of cycling of Canada. He's now with uh, Team Spider Tech. Uh, and a very exciting time in your career, Swain. Uh, tell us how it feels to be part of the team now. Uh, you know, it's like I said, uh, it's, it's a dream come true for me. And, and uh, like I said, when I became a professional cyclist, it's what I always wanted to see happen was uh, Canadian team racing at this very top level. So, you know, Steve and Joe, they were making it happen. And, and uh, here we are, and I think we only go up from here. And looking forward to this this year and this calendar we have. It's it's the perfect uh, lead up to where we're going. You got a really strong team. You got Will Rutley, who's the national champ. You got Zach Bell, Martin Gilbert, of course, Swain Tuff. And you have a history of, of riding with good teams and strong teams uh, and Canadian teams, of course, Symmetrics. So obviously that's in your roots. Um, did you ever envision something like this happening when you were, you know, riding back then? I, you know, I, I was hoping that Symmetrics that, that that would be the, the route we could go, but uh, you know, unfortunately at the time it just didn't work out. But um, you know, I look at the same crew of guys. It's the same, you know, Ryan Anderson, and Zach. And Will and Jaranda, we're all still back together. We're here on this team, and, and uh, it's growing. And I just see Canadian cycling getting better and better. You know, when you see guys like Guillaume come out of, you know, really, he just kind of came out of nowhere. And the guy wins the uh, medal at the World Championships, and, and uh, you just see that kind of talent. And, and uh, it's like Steve says, you know, looking at the hockey aspect, we have so many guys at a very top level. There's 5,000 guys, in, you know, junior level of hockey. And, you know, there's got to be some engines in there. There's got to be some horses in there. So, you know, I, uh, that's exciting. And I think the, the way they're going with the power watch set up there to, to test these guys and, and see, you know, what kind of abilities they have. Is, it's a real future for the sport in Canada. Well, there's no question. I mean, uh, probably everybody in the room has played hockey as a younger guy. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so we all have some memories from that. And, and you're right, uh, I think it's a great move to, to tap into that because there's a lot of uh, Swain Tufts and what these out there. It's just a question of finding them. Yeah. You know. Um, so this season, uh, you know, la you, when you started off in, in the pro ranks, you had a tough year the first year. Last year, you, you started to find your legs again. Uh, we watched you uh, mount the podium uh, at the Tour of Denmark. Uh, how are you feeling these days? How's the training going? Yeah, it's been good. I've had a really solid winter, similar to uh, 2008. Doing a lot of cross country skiing. It's been nice to be home in BC. And, uh, you know, I've, I've uh, just mentally had a good recharge doing what I really love doing in, in the mountains. And uh, now I'm just excited about racing. Like, as soon as I turn the switch, I, I can't wait to get out there. And uh, I'm looking, really looking forward to getting over to Europe and, and uh, get some good rides in and then uh, you know we start racing uh, close to a three month block right off the, the gun so yeah that's going to be so the ramp, the ramp up is coming very fast eh? yeah very good so what are some of your goals this season anything specific yeah I've kind of pinpointed uh, three days of West Flanders um, starting out with that as a time trial in the opening stage and, um, from there looking at you know some of the one days um, from Belgium to uh, Circuit South and Criterium International and uh, also tour Turkey we, we finish our trip there in Europe there um, with, a, with a prologue in, in Turkey so that'll be my first goal of the season moving on to California and then my second objective will be uh, Quebec City tour right? so really I feel like that's a that's a course that suits me, and I'd love to take a crack at it. Well, we'd really love to see you uh, mount the podium again. We know you guys have the the uh, talent and the skill to get there. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of luck too, but yep. uh, all those things roll into one. Um, what are your thoughts on the the state of cycling in Canada? It's really changed over the years. And it's yeah, evolved. from when when I started, I've seen you know out west, I've seen changes like crazy. You know, you go down to Vancouver or just in the Lower Mainland, you see so many people out riding, and people know you know they they follow the sport and they know who certain riders are. You know, me and Christian have been riding there for years, and, and now you actually have people that that know our names and they they know what's going on. On the sport. They come up 
and talk to us. And it's such a it's such a change from from when I started, where there was virtually no one out on the roads. So you never saw anyone riding, and you know people might yell at you driving by in a car. You know, but uh, it's really exciting to see, and I. I uh, I think Canada is on a really good trajectory as far as, as cycling goes, and our team can only be you know, the, the showcase for that. Yep, you guys are the tip of the spear right now. Yeah, it's excellent to see. Well, we want to wish you all the best, Wayne. Thanks for spending time with us here at the launch, and uh, we're going to follow you guys throughout the whole season and look forward to crossing paths.